Hey guys, welcome back to Tales. I've decided we're not gonna bother with the bird. Generally because I don't wanna fight. <laughs> That's right, I just don't wanna fight. We don't get shit from it, so screw it. I'm not gonna bother. Unless someone wants to pay me a lot of money, which they're not. I mean, they are paying us some money, I guess. But no, they are paying us some money. Oh, if we die, do we die? Is it like, do we? If we die on it, can I like start back here? Like, can I start back outside the fight, but then not actually have to fight it, or do I have to go back to the save point? Because we have not. Oh, there's actually a save point right here. Well, if that's if that's the case, let's do it. Screw it. Let's go kill the bird. If there just so happens to be a save point, like. Right here. Let's go kill the bird. Cause now now it's a situation where what's the worst that could like possibly happen, right? It's like, oh we've dead, oh well, who cares? You know? There's like now now we're saved, there's no consequences. So we may as well fight and get paid. Oh it's Horus! How much HP does Horus have? Jeez. Horus. You've been working out, dude. Alright. Also got some harpies. Uh, Alright, well I have Horus then. You guys have everything else. Like, seriously guys. What the fuck? Come. Come on. Kill off the harpies. Quickly. How much HP does the harpies ha even have? Like 4,000. It's not even worth, like, talking about. I need to go save the last of them. Lucky bed. I can't say your name, dude. I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce it. Even when we hear it. Thanks, dude. Thanks for not holding it against me and doing, like, badass moves regardless. That's really cool of you. You're a cool dude. You're a cool lad. Turns out this thing's actually really weak. <laughs> it's, like, it's actually, like, just not an issue. Hundred percent not an issue. All right. Oh wait, where the fuck's my HP going? Whoa! Wait a fucking cock and picking second. What the fuck? All right, you. You can use a life bottle on me. I'm also gonna switch it. Oh, I could. That's what I should do. I should have switched out. Let's just switch out and do. Um, wait, you use a life bottle on him, and then I'm stuck in the thing, that's not good, that's really not good, I'm good at that. Okay, let's do our move, wait, how do I, there we go, it wasn't working for some reason, let's finish him off with this, that's what we should be doing, we should be switching, in and out. Or at least switching in and out to do the uh, battle things. That was going really easy, and then all of a sudden, we all got our asses handed to us. So, I don't really know what, what to do there. Uh, cook dish. That'll do. Yeah. Yes, I need now. It's nothing special. That one. Do it. How many of those do we get? 19. The next 19 fights are going to have a food buff. I'm just gonna eat some nice food and get ourselves some HP back after each fight. That's real nice. This is a really cool addition, by the way. Like, I'm actually a really big fan of this this addition to the game. Uh, okay, so that takes us back apparently. But where is it? Where is back? Like, what the hell? Where is back? Oh, look, it also tells us that there's two treasures left on this map. That's nice to know too. That's actually really cool. Damn. The amount of information is crazy. Oh, hello. Oh, a bunch of witches and a bunch of harpies. Well then. <laughs> Guys. 
That's it. That's nice. Getting some big old power moves in there. Here we go. No one's got a freaking... Actually, they're like kicking ass whilst I'm like barely... Barely killing these things. I'm not doing very well on my part. Oh well. There we go. We add another food. Pretty good. Are we going to find this demon guy now who breaks swords by any chance? What's wrong? Is he gonna finally unsheath his sword? Holy shit, look at this guy. Howdy. Damn. That sword. Is that Storm Quell? I wouldn't know, but a it looks important. A foreign made sword. You must be the sword breaker. Alright. Let's take him down. Not much for conversation. Alright, so now if we switch to you, right? Oh, you've actually not got. I mean. <laughs> now, we, now we're kind of stuck into like a switch back. Requires one battle gauge, right? To switch back. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's not very effective. Let's just stay back and do a. Uh, do some magic, shall we? Do we still need to get stamina? What's the point? We just, it's fine. There we go, we can switch back now. That was, uh, that was an odd experience. I thought we were just going to switch and like use the ultimate move, but I forgot that it uses the thing to switch. And um, then she turned out she didn't even have any to switch back. So we were kind of screwed. Better keep that in mind going forward. Although, no, I mean, I'll just forget in about a second. Anyway, this guy's actually going down pretty easily. Although, the last time I said that, uh, it all went to shit. He is going after a healer, though, as well, which is unacceptable. There you go, he's down. Does that mean that's our sword now, too? It's a pretty nice sword. Oh, he's getting back up. He wants to go again. Oh, shit, is he going to get his big sword out? Oh. No, I guess not. Oh, dude, you need to use your big sword. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I'm so excited. Good a challenge. Look out. Don't interfere, brat. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Touch him and I'll kill you. Sorry. I just got a little riled up. Whoa. Dude. Do you know that demon? An apology. No, but I know his sword. Is in order. Blade called Stormquell. Well, at least Stormquell. we finally saw his demon side. Whatever. It doesn't have anything to do with us. Let's just get to the portal already. Whoa, he gave us a lot of EXP. What the hell? Bosses don't usually give us EXP. Did he not classify as a boss? Interesting. Because he gave us Robinson, stuff, but the other ones didn't. Sorry about what happened back there. I thought he was going to kill you. Yeah, I know. You were just doing what you thought was right. Yeah, maybe so. That's good, then. I didn't give you a clear enough warning to stay out of it. If it ever happens again, I'll give you a proper warning. You really don't want me to help you? Even if your life is at risk? Yep. Why? Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Huh? There's somebody out he there wants I need to one, dude. by my own hand. I want to strike him down. I want to triumph against him. But to do that... 
I need to be a better swordsman. Someone you have to defeat. Well, to do that, maybe and you should use fight. your yeah. sword once in a while. And I'll do anything to ensure I come out on top in the end. No matter how much it costs me. Life, limb, hell, even my heart and soul, I'll pay it. Those feelings have been so central to me for so long. I lost my dang humanity somewhere along the way. Oh, is that why he's like a demon now? Bad lady. <laughs> to be honest, beats me. Maybe it has to do with me being a demon. Or maybe that's why I became one. Either way, it's more important to me than life Possibly. itself. More important than life. But still, I owe you for saving me back there. There's no victory pose in store for me if I'm dead. Uh, okay. Is that how you thank someone for saving your life? Huh? I'm just being honest with the little guy. And no offense and all, but why do you care? You don't even think it disrespectful? You truly are a demon. Yep. Big old demon. <laughs> yep. Big old demon. I'm a demon. He's a big old demon. <laughs> He's brilliant. I love him. Oh, man, these characters are really good. I'm actually really, uh, I'm really actually impressed with these characters. Because generally, like so far, we've actually, I actually kind of like them all. Like even Mugulu is kind of interesting. I know it's not like actually, I know. but like, I know I'm mispronouncing it. Don't worry. But um, it's like, is that even? Like, I like all of them. Like, all six of them I like. Usually there's, like, that one dude where I'm just like, oh, I don't really care. <laughs> you know, like, I don't really give a, give a foop if he dies. I don't really give a crap if that one goes, you know what I mean? Like, usually that's so prominent in RPGs. There's always, like, a couple who you're like, oh, I don't really care. But, but uh, this one specifically is a very good, a very good group of characters indeed. Uh, there is a treasure over there, so let us go and get that treasure. It's bound to be something magical and wonderful, right? Another tall waste of our time. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this leads back over here. No, it does not. It actually does not lead back over there. Okay, it actually leads nowhere. That's fine. We shall go this way and go into this dungeon and probably find that guy with the sword. And we'll kick his ass and we'll take the sword. I'm hoping that we get the swords. Like, by the end of the game, he's just like Gilgamesh. He just has like a million swords on him. So we may as well save as well as we're here. You're passing the save point, you may as well save. Now, why does that name sound so familiar? Hey, Eleanor? Thanks for stepping in earlier. Think nothing of it. My orders are to protect you, so I did. Oh, I see. Of course, orders are no orders. I'd save anyone under threat from a demon. Well, how noble. Oh, I got it! Got, got what? The tragic tale of the sword storm quell. Gather round and listen, oh grimy travelers. Once gonna tell us. Past, there was a sword renowned the world over for its peerlessly sharp edge. Its forger shrouded in mystery. Okay. So mighty was each swing of the sword. It produced howling winds that could level mountains. No other sword could match its power. The people in their superstition began to call it the God Blade. This god blade, is it Stormquell? Shush! The tale is merely beginning. I mean, I'm not all day, Mugulu. There was one man who was truly enamored with the god blade. His name was Kurogane, a black Kurogane. wondrous talent. Okay. His heart was set on forging an even greater an sword. An even greater and sword, he you had say? A name in mind for this sword, Stormquell. The sword oh shit! To what a twist! The god blade's roaring winds. And did he make it? Kurogane forged scores of challengers to the God Blade, but each would-be Stormquell was shattered by the implacable howling wind. Some say the wielder of the God Blade chopped off his head. Others say he took his own life. The truth is lost to the dusty cobwebs of history. But perhaps he 
and his grudge towards the god blade somehow yet lived so you think it's that guy that spans centuries you hear tall tales like this all the time that sword and its inscription we saw were probably just inspired by the legend perhaps but if that's the real storm quell we should all sleep with one eye open tonight what makes you say that because that god blade kudogane wanted so desperately to top has been passed down through my family for generations its name is storm howl oh what? shit this In other one is words, back we could well bump into your armored friend again let's hurry it up dude you gotta use your sword you gotta get it out dude you just gotta whip it out and flop it all around that's what i always say when in doubt flop it all around I'm not sure actually who says that. I'm not sure if I've ever actually said that before. Regardless. It's still a very important part of education. Hello, worm friend. Is that a zombie? Zombie? Don't waste my time. It is a zombie. Yeah. 5,600. Oh, that's a big AOE. Oh, that's big AOE. <laughs> That's a pain. I'm not super. I'm not like really super uh, hype about the old big old AOEs. That's not a. That's not a thing I appreciate unless the AOEs are on my side, you know. We did it. All right. Well, we fought. We fought that thing before. Fuck that thing. Oh, I can break these. No, oh, is that it? Just freaking kill. Oh, hello. Secrets. <clears throat> wow, really? Okay, thank God for that. Thank God for that. It's slow ward, huh? Nice. Back through we go. Alrighty then. Oh. What we got down here? We have a ore fragment. Uh, is this so? This is this like a br a bright? Uh, is it was it bright or was it blight? I think it was bright. Bright stone. Is this um, a bright stone cave? Like a mine dedicated to mining that bright stone stuff that I used to make swords. Uh, it kind of now that you think about it, like. Uh, we're doing a whole like side arc kind of thing. Well, it's not a side arc, but it's like the arc of the sword type thing. Like, you know, if this was an anime, this would be like the uh, Come on, really? arc of the sword, the storm howl arc. You know, and now it's we're in a cave where it's a mine. It's quite clearly a mine. Just because she said she and then there's the whole we had found ore earlier. Remember. Malakim are just you know? tools and then there's the whole guy, the blacksmith but story we were just told. She really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. It all, you know, you it all so falls back it? back into place, doesn't it? Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her, no matter how close you two get. I want her to understand that I come first. So, what do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? It's all right. I understand. Well, that's not what I mean. Oh, I was embarrassed. It's okay, Velvet. You just want him to like you more. I get it. Oh, there's another red mark. I don't know how to get there though. What's up, centipede? Got some zombies. Oh, big A we gonna get hit. It's fine. We'll pass for him. For that, huh? Yeah, big old AoEs. Get our own AoEs in there. For that, yeah, that that's real effective. Knocks him over and everything. Although he was a bit resistant getting up for some reason. Like, he's trying to get up off the floor and it's like, now he's resist to attack now because... We won, right? Reasons. 
I guess. Oh, what is it? Oh, hello. Oh, it did look out of place. It looked out of place, so I just kind of assumed that it was a, uh, was like a thing. I thought it was like a collectible thing, like a mineable item. I didn't realize it was a an actual monster. Oh, we didn't check his HP. Oh, we should have checked his HP. Oh, what a mistake I've made. Bam. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, we've only got blimey fluids, but we've got 99. Guess we'll abandon it. Okay, save point and a thing. If that's a door, and the open this door is this key, I'm gonna be really upset. Like that's gonna be that's gonna really annoy me, if I'm honest. Does this happen a to candle. open the door? What's that doing here? Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away, like wards around old king's tombs. I've read about this. There's a trick to this. Is that right? It reacts to heat. Heat reacts her. to heat her. Then there's only one thing to a do. A candle reacts to heat. Crazy. Oh look, a candle. Opens door. Wow. For fuck's sake. It's fine. It's just trying to teach us a, a mechanic. So let's just shut our faces. And accept the fact that it's teaching us a mechanic. Uh, you know what? And with that, actually, guys, I'm going to call it there. Let's attack this rock all in just because. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you'd like to leave a like and a comment down below, I would be very appreciative. And I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye. Not bad. You too.